Greetings from Warriors Ukrainian, this is Diana with a special edition. On Air Force Day, 6th of August 2023, Vladimir Zelensky inspected samples of weapons and military equipment of the Ukrainian defenders of the sky and talked with the soldiers. The head of state listened to a report on the work and capabilities of the Patriot and RST complexes, which Ukraine received from its partners. Zelensky inspected, in particular, the Su-25 attack aircraft, the Su-24M bomber, the Su-27 and MiG-29 fighters with the missiles they use. As noted by the commander of the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Lieutenant General Mykola Oleshuk, these aircraft were modernized for the use of weapons provided by partners, in particular, Zuni air-to-surface missiles, Storm Shadow missiles and AGM Harm anti-radar missiles. The president was also shown the operation of a simulator transferred to Ukraine by the Czech Republic to train pilots to work on Western-style F-16 aircraft. On this simulator, the Ukrainian military is currently studying the features of modern technology and its capabilities. Volodymyr Zelensky tested the operation of the complex in practice and hit one of the virtual targets, a Tu-95. During the meeting with the head of state, Air Force personnel presented him with a pilot's helmet as a symbol of faith that in the near future Ukraine will receive F-16 fighter jets from its partners, which will help defeat the Russian invaders and liberate all Ukrainian lands. With the words, I quote, Allow me to give you a symbol of indomitability and future struggle for our dear Ukraine for the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. As the President, you defend our country together with the Armed Forces, the knight now has a shield, it's air defense. We want to give you a helmet because a knight must wear a helmet. A knight lacks a full set of swords, aviation in order to strike the air and ground enemy, noted one of the Air Force so soldiers and added that his helmet bears the signatures of the Air Force soldiers who received the title of Hero of Ukraine and four knights of the Order of Courage and Bordon Kamensky. The president highly appreciated such a gift and noted that he would work to obtain F-16s for Ukraine. In addition, Volodymyr Zelensky, Minister of, U of Defense Oleski Reznov, Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Valery Zelovny and Air Force Commander Bakola Oleshuk, participated in the release of the Evil Fighters postage stamp and envelope issued by a Ukraine Poshta for Air Force Day. The general director of Yuka Poshta, Imor Zelensky, says, Stamps are prophetic. When we release something, it definitely happens. Therefore, today, in honor of the Air Force, hoping that we will soon have F-16s, such a stamp was issued. And now, a ceremonial redemption with a special stamp on the day of the Air Force, and invited the head of state to be the first to redeem the special stamp. The stamp shows how the Ukrainian army destroys the symbol of the evil empire by grinding it on exterminating grinding wheel. The knight in the helmet trident on the envelope represents the nobility, strength and honor of the Ukrainian army that defends its native land. Vladimir Zelensky, Valery Zlovny, Oleski Rezinov and Mykola Oleshuk left their signatures on each of the four copies of the evil exterminators set. And that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Love from the soldiers.